All right, guys, welcome to Xbox Game Pass on uh, Samsung TVs, especially and only Samsung 2022 TVs. Samsung says, in accordance with Xbox, this is because of the processing to help it run as smooth as possible. And here you have it. Now, one thing I want to let you know that this is part of the game hub here on uh, Samsung TVs with the new UI on Tizen. Now, I'm not gonna to go too much into the game hub. You can see there are other streaming services like Stadia and GeForce Now. If you wanna see more on that, go head over to Board Gamer. I do have a video on that right now. But the one thing about the game hub is that you also have access to the games you like to play uh, from the services, including, of course, Xbox Game Pass right there on the, on the main screen. So you can see Halo Infinite, I can go in. Uh, into that and I can also launch directly from here. So it gives me a trailer. I can press the button and I can continue and go right into it if I want to. But here we are. Now you guys can see there are two apps here that have Xbox. One says Xbox Series X and S. That is for the console while the one that just says Xbox is for Xbox Game Pass. So jumping into that, it's going to load into it. Now there is a quick setup process and also a process to pair your controller. Uh, once you follow the steps as you see on screen, it's very easy and straightforward. Uh, but once we get in, you can see we're going into Xbox Game Pass. It's basically loading in. The learning process takes a, probably say about 30 seconds in total. Uh, this is still cloud giving beta uh, and you're introducing to the Xbox Game Pass um, home screen. This is built for your TV. So you can see at the very top you have Xbox Game Pass, game, you have Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta on the left. You can search for games. It shows my controller is inactive. Uh, I'm going to switch from using my TV remote to the controller. So I'm going to turn my controller on. And then of course you can see my icon logo there. So once my controller go, turns on, I should be able to do that. And then you can move and navigate around. Now I can get go in here and basically you see my control is connected. It tells you on screen. I do have different options for uh, appearing online, my subscription uh, features, in-game narration. You've got some settings controls right here, which you can go through and you can sign out and someone else can sign in. Then of course, the very top layer, you have your jump back in. You can see I've got uh, Shredder's Revenge, Forza, Halo. We're gonna check out some games quickly for that. Um, and then you can see, of course, some featured games here, Fortnite, we've got Craptopia. And then recently added into Game Pass, you have Leaving Soon. So if you wanna play MotoGP 20, this is a, you better do that. Then you've got your different categories you can actually jump to. And then right below that, you can go ahead and see all games. It's a very simple and streamlined process, which is something I really like about it. So let's go ahead and jump into Shredder's Revenge. I'm gonna just show you, this is the only game I'm gonna show you the loading sequence. And again, this is what you would expect from Xbox uh, Game Pass. This is the cloud gaming uh, loading sequence that we get. This is still in beta, so it's gonna take uh, Sometime it is much faster if you use a wired uh, connection as opposed to wireless. So right currently I'm using wired uh, connection. I would say maybe about uh, 10 seconds extra in terms of loading compared to the wireless version. So we're in Shredder's Revenge. I'm gonna just stop playing the game. Uh, going to arcade because it's just much faster than playing the story for you. Now, the one thing you notice that image wise, this looks, um, you're gonna get it, it's, it's 1080p, it's not 4K, but it still looks pretty good on this TV. Um, and again, this is the Samsung S95B, that's the TV I'm using right now. And uh, right now it's just running pretty well, you know? It's, uh, it's something that I think a lot of people are gonna see that's quite impressive. The fact that you don't need a console, you just need your Xbox controller. Now this is the first time I'm actually playing Treasure's Revenge. So I'm excited to actually get into it here.
Now this is the game uh, playing directly off the Xbox One X. Now you can see the clear difference in quality. Uh, this of course is 4K, uh, 4K 120 as opposed to 1080p. I think they're trying to aim for 60 there, uh, not measured it, but giving you an idea of what it would look like against your console. Very different, much more fidelity you can see um, all around you. And if I press my home button, I don't quit. I actually can go home into my main Xbox menu and you can see it here again, very different from what you have with uh, Xbox Game Pass on the Samsung TV. Now, while you're playing any game, you can pause the game, of course, and go through the game menus, or you can double tap the Xbox button, and that allows you to go ahead and quit the game. And you can also invite a friend to the party, so you can actually plug in your headset to the controller or connect a Bluetooth headset to your TV and actually use that for chat as well, and that does work. So we're going ahead, go ahead and quit the game. And, um, yeah. I do have surveys, so there we go. So we're back to the main menu. And what's really interesting about this is that it is a very smooth and very seamless system to use in terms of just gaming. I really like it. Um, and I think this is going to change the way um, a lot of people game, especially if Samsung can get this on all the Samsung TVs. Now, I don't know how long uh, this is going to be solely on Samsung TVs. I have a feeling that probably by next year, um, it will be available on LG TVs and say TCL TVs or any TVs that support uh, uh, Google Play. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, and hopefully Mike, uh, Microsoft can bring this everywhere, at least on TV sets, because this is actually uh, fun. Again, Stadia does this right now, but I just wanted to show you guys what you can do with Xbox Game Pass on a Samsung TV. So if you have any questions and comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.